Hello students, let us see this question here. Uh, three long street and parallel wires are arranged as shown in the figure. The force is experienced by 10 cm length of wire Q. So this is the wire Q. Uh, the 10 cm of this wire, how much experience the length? So this I need to find here. So let us assume this length of wire is 10 cm and uh, right and these two wires are infinite. This wire is and this wire are infinite. So all these, all three wires are long and straight and parallel. So all these wires are long. This means this is infinite, this is infinite, and this is also infinite. But it is asking how much force will be experienced by the 10, 10 centimeter length of this infinite wire. This is asking. So let us try to find out. So let us call this wire as one here and this wire as two. So uh, this wire is infinite. So the force per unit length due to this wire on this uh, Q will be equal to so the force F1 that is force due to wire 1 on this that will be equal to mu naught I1 I2 so this is 20 ampere so let us call this is I1 uh, and this I call as 3 here so I1 I3 upon that will be uh, 2 pi d the distance is so let us call this distance is 2 centimeter so let us call this distance is d1 so 2 pi d1 okay so this is the force per unit length due to uh, wire 1 on this so and the length i need so let us take this length is l here so i need to get the force on this length and this length is equal to 10 centimeter okay so this is the force coming due to f1 if i call here uh, the force due to the wire 2 on this 10 centimeter section then the force per unit length will be mu naught i2 i3 upon 2 pi this distance let us call this is d2 so that will be d2 and the length is l so that will be there okay now if i say uh, here the force uh, the here the current is upward direction here the current is downward direction so there will be repulsion here so the f due to this the force will act, act in rightward direction and here uh, the force is downward direction and here the force is upward direction so once again that will be repulsion case so this will repel this wire so this force will be in this direction okay now let us try to find out the magnitude of f1 and f2 here so f1 will be equal to mu naught I1. I1 is 20, so that will be 20 into I3 is 10, so that will be 10 here, uh, right, uh, upon 2 pi, right, distance is 2 centimeters, so that will be 2 upon 100, so 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2, right, so that is distance, the length, the length is 10 centimeters, so that will be uh, 10 into 10 raised to power, or you can say like 10 centimeters is nothing but or you can say like 10 into 10 raised to power minus 2 okay so so that is the force okay and that is also in rightward direction so if i uh, calculate this one so this will get cancel out from here okay and that will become uh, 2 will get cancel out and that will become 10 here so that will become mu naught into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 2 pi and that force is in rightward direction. So let us uh, now find okay so now let us try to find uh, the F2 now so if I try to find the F2 here so that will be mu naught uh, I2 I2 is 30 so that will be 30 here into uh, I3 that is 10 here upon 2 pi d so that will be 2 pi and the distance is 10 uh, the distance is 10 centimeter okay here the distance is 10 centimeter so let us talk this is 10 into 10 power minus 2 into and the length and the length is also 10 centimeter so 10 into 10 raised to power minus 2 okay so this entire thing will get cancelled out from here and right and you will get here uh, 2.5 so that will be equal to or let us leave this so that will become mu naught upon 2 pi into 300 so this force will act in this direction 
So which magnitude is coming greater? If we'll see this is 1000, this is 300. So obviously this is greater one. So if total, if total the net you will get in rightward direction because this force is larger than this one. So that will become mu naught upon 2 pi and this will become 1000 minus sorry 1000 minus 300. So that will be equal to mu naught upon 2 pi into 700. So this is coming. Now I need to put the value of mu naught here. So let us put the value. So mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7. Okay. So I need some space. So I will omit some. So let us remove this F2. Okay, so I am putting the value of mu naught. So mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the minus 7 into 700 divided by 2 pi. So that will get cancel out and that will get 2 here and you will get 14 into 10 raised to power. This is minus 1, this is 2. So that will become minus 5. So let us see which option is matching here. So it is given 1.4. So 1.4 that is coming. So if we terms in terms of 1 by 4, so it will get here 1.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. And that is in a rightward direction because this force was greater. So this F total you will get in this direction. Okay. So this is like this. So this is rightward direction. So 1.4 into 8, 1.4 into 10 to the minus 4. Uh, Newton towards the left. This is wrong. So towards the right. So right what will act towards the right. Okay. So option A is coming. Okay, students. I hope you understood this question.